Hey guys, here I am with a new video of uh, rate determining enzymes of metabolic processes. The same thing we call as rate limiting enzymes, right? So here are uh, the important cycles from biochemistry that you need to know. So I have got mnemonics for many cycles except for the first and the second ones because uh, glycolysis and gluconeogenesis are like most frequently learned. So there is no mnemonic for that as such. But I have got mnemonics for the rest all. So let's start from the mnemonic part itself that is uh, for, from the TCA cycle that is Krebs cycle. So in the name TCA cycle uh, you have the letters T, C and red, A right. So in the citrate also you have T, C and A so remember it like that. TCA cycle is isocitrate dehydrogenase which is otherwise called as Krebs cycle. Coming to glycogenesis, genesis is something regarding synthesis right. So glycogenesis is glycogen synthase whereas glycogenolysis is addition of phosphate group that is glycogen phosphorylase. In the name glycogenolysis you have L, Y and S right. So similarly you have glycogen phosphorylase with L, Y and S. So that is the mnemonic for glycogenolysis and coming to HMP shunt pathway guys you have hexose monophosphate right. So in the hexose monophosphate spelling you have hexose that means 6 and phosphate is again in the enzyme that is glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase is involved in HMP shunt pathway which is important for NADPH generation remember that point. Coming to de novo pyrimidine synthesis, you have to learn de novo pyrimidine synthesis along with urea cycle guys because this de novo pyrimidine synthesis and urea cycle both of them have carbamyl phosphate synthase in their enzymes names. But coming to pyrimidine remember it as diene that is di means 2 so CPS2 is for pyrimidine and CPS1 is for urea cycle. Urea cycle has A in the end so CPS1 is for urea cycle whereas CPS2 is for pyrimidine cycle and guys here is an important point that uh, TCA cycle that is citrate cycle is Krebs cycle whereas urea cycle is Krebs Hanslet. Actually we have a video which is a very short video for 5 minutes on uh, Krebs Hanslet or urea cycle. So I have discussed every important detail of that cycle and the diseases related to that cycle so go watch that video also it's also important for NEAT and INISET too. So please watch that video regarding urea cycle guys and uh, here are only the uh, rate limiting enzymes actually. So I have uh, discussed few cycles from this chart already on my YouTube channel. So you can go and watch those videos. So remember that Krebs cycle is for citrate that is TCA whereas Krebs Hanslet is for urea cycle. Now coming to de novo purine synthesis guys. So purine name has P and R. So it's just P and R. P and R. Don't confuse with pyrimidines P and R because pyrimidine is to be remembered with Krebs urea cycle right Krebs Hanslet. So that is done. Now coming to fatty acid synthesis and oxidation. So remember guys fatty acid synthesis actually to the acetyl CoA carbon dioxide molecules goes on adding so that the fatty acid chain length increases that happens in the cycle. So the name also acetyl CoA carboxylase because carbon dioxide molecules goes on adding to the acetyl CoA compound. So that happens in the first step of fatty acid synthesis. So that is the rate limiting enzyme that is acetyl CoA carboxylase. Coming to fatty acid oxidation, remember it like ox and cat go together, two animals. So cat meaning carnitile acyl transferase guys. So fatty acid oxidation is about carnitile acyl transferase. Coming to ketogenesis and cholesterol synthesis, genesis is again about synthase that is HMG CoA synthase whereas cholesterol synthesis is HMG CoA reductase. Remember like cholesterol has R in it and HMG CoA reductase also has R in it. So RE and RE basically. So these are the enzymes which are most important and from the most important cycles of biochem. So guys first two enzymes are glycolysis and gly gluconeogenesis which are just uh, phosphofructokinase 1 and fructose 1,6 bisphosphatase as many of you know. Uh, and you must know these names right. I didn't bring the mnemonics for that why. And here I have written the uh, two most important uh, enzymes that is CPS. CPS1 is for urea cycle whereas 2 is for pyrimidine as already discussed. And one more point guys, this CPS1 is in mitochondria whereas CPS2 is in cytoplasm. So remember right, CPS1 is in mitochondria whereas CPS2 that is cyto 2 plasm which is cytoplasm. And here itself remember one point that there are few cycles which occur in both mitochondria and cytoplasm. The mnemonic goes like PUBG. 
so p is pyrimidine synthesis u is urea cycle b is blood guys that means heme synthesis and g for gluconeogenesis gluconeogenesis enzyme is fructose 16 bisphosphatase so these are the cycles that occur in both cytoplasm and mitochondria you need to remember that point and coming to hmg coa hmg coa synthase is for glu ketogenesis whereas reductase is re it is for cholesterol ketogenesis or ketone body synthesis is for hmg coa synthesis so this summarizes all the important cycles in biochem i have already done a video on urea cycle as already mentioned so if you guys uh, want me to make video on any particular cycle you can let me know in the comment section below i'll bring the flow charts from first aid and explain you in a simplest manner possible thank you please if you like and uh, understanding my style of teaching or if you are satisfied with these videos please do like share and subscribe to the content guys so the urea cycle that i have discussed in the video is popped up on the screen guys so you can watch that video also it's just a 5 to 6 minute video it won't take much of your time